Well, hi. Just caught me doing some homework. And it got me thinking, can you buy decent kimono off Wish? Of course you can't, don't be silly. So this video has been a little while in the making, as you might imagine. Um, I bought what I believe is known in the trade as a shitload of kimono off wish.com. There is one kimono in here that I made because it took the others that long to get here. <laughs> um, the one I made, it's full of flaws. Hopefully you won't see those. Um, I made it off the back of a YouTube video, which I will link to down below there. I also bought an obi belt off Wish, or what they called an obi belt, which quite clearly was not one. So generally I will be using that Wish belt with most of the kimono you see here. Um, it's quite low effort to put on because <laughs> it's not a real obi. There is one item here that wasn't bought from Wish and it is this quite beautiful obi belt which came from Tokyo. Literally reached my house in four days. So, disclaimer, none of the items you see here today are proper kimono because all the ones Wish said were kimono weren't and the one that I made is just a yukata anyway. Let's try on some not real kimono. This one was £10 with shipping of £6. It referred to itself as both a kimono, a yukata and a long bathrobe. It goes down to about your knees. Pretty comfortable, really nice one just to hang around the house in. Here I've added the belt. The belt was surprisingly £8.55 with £6 shipping. What am I even doing? Trying this one on, I forgot it's actually part of a costume. Uh, it's £16 with £9 shipping. Very much enjoy the big flappy sleeves. Very comfortable around the house. I'm just about to show you where I keep my dog poo bags. In the day, delightful. Flappy flap flap. This is the full outfit put together, so it comes with this kind of top, this fabric-y belt thing and a skirt. As you can see, the bow clings on for its dear life. Not sure how much this one is, because it's disappeared off my wish list, but it was about a tenner, I think. Very pretty kitties. Doesn't go anywhere near around me, but, you know, it was cheap. <laughs> credit to this one. I thought it was going to be garbage, but I love it. It's my absolute favourite. It was £12 with £7 shipping. It's got Monokuma written down the side. My Japanese friend has translated the other side. It says something close to beware of the school, <laughs> which is quite appropriate. Here we go. The homemade effort with a real Tokyo Obi. Pay no attention to the dodgy cuffs or the terrible hemming. I really love it, it's really comfortable, the fabric's really lovely. Fairly easy to make, really, uh, for the more safety conscious among you, the benefit of making your own clothes, matching masks. Not that I'm going outdoors looking like this, because what's outdoors? Will we ever see the outside again? So, what did we learn? Um, I can't tie an obi belt to save my life. There's a reason I'm a lot redder than I was at the beginning. Can you buy decent kimono off Wish? No, <laughs> not that I found. Can you buy decent yukata? You can get an approximation of one. Um, mainly, you're gonna get fairly decent kaori, I found. The crane one, you can't really see it so well in the video, but that's a bit longer than the rest of them and it's got these kind of slit panels sort of down where it sort of goes past your legs which makes it super comfortable just to like carry around the house in um, and it's really pretty. The Danganronpa one, I bought that because it was so ridiculous looking I had to have it. Side note, I've recently ordered a KFC tracksuit for the same reason. I wear this one quite a lot around the house just because it's comfortable. Not always with the obi belt because who am I trying to impress? We're in lockdown and the dog doesn't care. So I think if you want like an authentic kimono experience, you're gonna have to buy from Tokyo. The obi belt is easily the most beautiful thing that I bought. Um, and the same place that I bought it also sells like kimonos and yukata as well. So on a slightly more 
plush month, we might investigate them again. If you are just looking for something comfortable just to wear around the house, fill your boots. Nothing I bought was terrible. The costumey one, um, which again I bought just because it was costumey and I thought, well, it's got the closest sleeves I've seen to a kimono so far. Even that one, not terribly made. It's the top half of it is just an, again something that I just wear on the house and I really enjoy the sort of kimono sleeves to it. Are you better off making your own kimono? Probably. Um, this one is a lot higher quality than any of the ones that I bought. All the ones that I bought were all this kind of like silky material, presumably almost pure polyester. They are a fire hazard waiting to happen. But they all look cool, they're all comfortable, they're all houseware. It's certainly not a formal kimono wear, but it's just nice to bring a little bit of another culture into your own home, isn't it? Thanks for joining me while I pranced around like a tit in my own living room. Um, Twitch has had a rename. It now just matches this channel, so it's twitch.tv slash Master. <laughs> Streaming there definitely every Sunday for Danganronpa Dundee in half cosplay and whenever I can during the week. Be gay, do crime, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>